It's going to be a hard road. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs. It's going to be fun. It's going to be horrible. It's going to test you. It's going to make you question who you are as a person. But it's going to be 100% worth it. You just strap in and get ready for the ride because it's going to be one hell of a great ride. I'm Chloe Legazzo, and this is my origin story. I started playing when I was five and I was just introduced because my dad and my grandfather loved football. It's the only sport I've ever played, so it was always meant to be. But yeah, just bringing back some memories. I haven't obviously been back to Sydney in a long time. I've lived overseas for a while. All right, this is it. We are in my school gym. Um, I came here from year seven to year 12, and I think I was 12 until I was 18. So a lot of fond memories in this room. The amazing athletes, um, Olympians and Australian players that they produce. And it's incredible to see myself up there with, with Kaya and um, a couple of people I went to school with. So it's a very humbling feeling to be back here. This field really brings back some memories. We used to just pull up in the parking lot just there and we used to just take everything out and we used to just train and we used to leave. So there is changing rooms now, but then it, there never used to be changing rooms. I just think it goes to show like how far women's football in Australia has come. So we have arrived at Sydney FC's training facility where I have spent so many years of my career here. And this is it. This is the locker room. Yeah, I think this was my locker. If I'm gonna go off it, I was number six still back then, so it doesn't look like much, and it isn't. It isn't much. Um, I think it's a hats off to, to all the female athletes who, who work in conditions like this and give their heart and soul to, to the game. The women's game when I was in high school wasn't where it is right now, and the opportunities to play in so many different countries weren't that evident. I didn't know that many people who had gone over and played overseas and, and made an actual living out of it. So I've been a part of the changing shift in Australian football and it's nice to have been able to see what it used to be like and then now where it's going and then hopefully be able to see it into the future. I think when you get to the highest level you realise that being a professional athlete comes with injuries. I will say that it is a day-to-day -day process because some days are really good and some days are horrible that you don't want to get back up and you don't want to do anything and you just want to quit and you question why you're, you're even there and if you're ever going to get back to the position that you were in before you got injured. Start from the bottom, we'll go all the way up. I have a pin in my toe, I have a tight rope in my ankle, a screw in my knee from my ACL, a plate in my collarbone um, and that's all the hardware that's in my body um, and then on top of that I've just broken a lot of bones, done a lot of hamstrings and a lot of ligaments and stuff like that but I think all through all of that it's taught me about resilience and toughness. I'm a lot stronger mentally from it and that I can accomplish anything if I just put my mind to it. I think my tattoos are a timeline of my life. My first tattoo is actually on my ribs and it's a quote um, for when my grandfather passed away. The, the quote says, those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near, still love, still miss, and ever dear. My um, grandfather was my biggest supporter and has never been able. He was never able to watch me accomplish something that I think he dreamed of and I dreamed of together, so. I know he's looking down on me and he's always there to support me in every way. Um, and I know he's really proud. I have my cap number tattooed on my chest um, and I am the 188th um, person to represent the Matildas. I'm very proud of things that I've accomplished and um, yeah, I want to keep it a part of my journey. So this is my most recent tattoo and I absolutely love and adore my nonna. Um, I think she just embodies everything that I want to be and she's beautiful. She supported me in everything that I've done. She supported me through a part of my, my footballing journey that um, I really wanted to give up on myself. My family kind of wanted to give up. My dad didn't want me to keep kind of playing. And my nonna took me into her home, cooked, cleaned, supported me um, and allowed me to play for Newcastle while I was there. 
and that part of my life I always cherish so much. I don't get to see her as often as I want to. Um, so being able to just like look down and see her face and the tattoo artist did an incredible job of, of literally putting a picture on my arm and it's probably the most meaningful one I have so far because it is a picture of me and her in a moment in time that I vividly remember. Um, I don't have any plans for more tattoos. I guess things have to happen in my life for them to happen. There's a big spot right here. I think the best way to describe it is just the unbelievable pride you have to put on a jersey. It's always an honour to be able to pull that on and represent your country. We've been waiting for this for three years. We've, I think it's the perfect time for us to have this because it's just going to revolutionise sport, not just football, but sport and women's sport in the country. We're going to impact the, the country. We're going to sweep the nation. This is the build up to show people who have supported me how much of an impact they've actually had on my life. This is the result of something and I just want to give back to everyone who's been able to help me. I'm Chloe Legazzo and this is my origin story.